welcome to Mass with Bob. Today we are finding the angles uh, in right angle triangle trigonometry. Okay, so we're going to look at the process of trying to find this unknown theta. In front of you, you can see there's a triangle, a 8, 15, 17 triangle with a, it's a right angle, it's got a theta in it. You have to you can see the theta. The theta is here. This is the, okay, this is the Greek letter, theta, used to represent the unknown angle. We don't know what the size of the angle is at the moment, but we can see we can actually set some ratios up because we do have some of the sides. Now, what were the sides called? Well, the one opposite the right angle, this 17, is called the hypotenuse. Okay, now the one opposite the angle is the 15 here, and you can see here that is this to the opposite side. And you can also see the other one remaining must be the adjacent, right? Okay, now. How can we remember all this, or the ratios? Well, there's the phrase, uh, socket toa. Uh, hopefully we heard of this before. This is the phrase we always write down when we see a right angle triangle. Uh, it just helps us remember what the ratios are. We can see here sine opposite over hypotenuse. That's the so. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, and the tan is the opposite of the adjacent. Now, when we have a, a triangle, usually we only have two sides, but you can see here today I've actually put the whole three sides in. Now, if we have the, all the three sides, it's then up to us to try and work out what ratio we should use. I mean, obviously, if one is missing, then, uh, like, for instance, say the adjacent was missing, then that wipes out the cosine and the tangent and only leaves the sine ratio. But if we're actually given all three, then we can use whatever ratio we like. Okay, so today, let's actually have a look at... Uh, Let's just use the sine ratio to start with. Okay, so what I would normally do is so I'm going to use a sine. I would put a S in my triangle to say I'm going to use the sine ratio. Uh, so I say sine of theta is the opposite, which uh, remember hopefully is the 15 over the 17, which is the hypotenuse. Now, you might remember in a previous video I mentioned that the, that restless sign has got theta in a headlock and how am I going to get theta free? I have to actually apply what's called the inverse sine function or uh, to, to alleviate <laughs> the theta from the headlock. Okay, so theta we would write as we have to apply this inverse sine function to both sides and uh, okay, here we go. So theta now is actually equal to inverse sine or shift sine. This is a, one of the buttons on the calculator. If you look at above the sine button, you press shift sine, you get this, uh, what's called the inverse sine function or the inverse sine button. And we apply it to both sides. So the inverse sine of the sine of theta is actually just theta. And the inverse sine of the 15 on the 17, uh, basically when we press um, the equals, uh, it gives us a decimal angle. Now, just while we're here, sine theta, this actual value 15 on 17 is about, as a ratio, is roughly 0 0.88 dot dot dot. Okay, so it's obviously less than 1. And um, if you have a quick look at this triangle, the opposite on the hypotenuse, you not only, just something might strike you that you can't get this ratio to be bigger than 1, no matter what you do, because you're always putting it over the hypotenuse, which is the longest side of the triangle anyway. So you're not going to be able to get this uh, ratio bigger than 1. Uh, actually, at 90 degrees, it is 1. But we, we can't get it. Uh, so we are assuming it's going to be, uh, these sorts of ratios are going to be less than 1 for sine. OK, so now when we actually apply this inverse sine function to the 15, I actually go 15 divided by 17 on my calculator, and I get 61.927, okay, 61.927, dot, dot, dot. This is actually, okay, a decimal angle, okay. And uh, if I want it into degrees, minutes, and seconds, I just press my DMS button, and it tells me it's about uh, 61 degrees, 55 minutes, 39.05 seconds. Okay, so 61 degrees. 55 minutes, 39.05 seconds. Now, so this is the angle, theta, okay? So you can see here that obviously this is fairly accurate. We normally would even 
to the nearest degree, we can hopefully round that 55 up to, say, 62 degrees. To the nearest minute, it would be 61 degrees, 56 minutes. Okay, so let's actually write it 61 degrees, 56 minutes. This is to the nearest minute. Okay. Okay, you can see I've actually uh, just rubbed out the uh, the sine, and we're going to use the cosine ratio now. Okay, so I'll put a, a C in my triangle for cosine, which is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So I'd say the cosine of theta is equal to adjacent 8 over 17. Now this, as a decimal, the cosine uh, 8 is about 0 0.47 dot 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 so it's roughly about 0 0.47 dot 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 okay so you can see here now um, the sign was about 0 0.88 of the ratio now that was the, obviously the, the longer side the uh, opposite over the high point and the adjacent you can see is a bit shorter so the ratio is a bit smaller so you can actually see that the cosine of this angle okay um, would be 8 over 17 and therefore theta okay to alleviate the theta from the cosine function we have to apply its inverse function. So theta is going to be inverse cosine of 0. Uh, actually, I'll just do it as 8 divided by 17, I think. OK, so um, and if you do that on your calculator, you'll see I've left the other results there because they'll be exactly the same. Because, OK, we are, remember from the similar triangles, we were looking at uh, the ratio of corresponding sides that are in similar triangles are or equal. Um, so we can see here we've got the rate, this particular uh, ratio is the 8 over the 17, the cosine ratio for that particular angle. The sine ratio for that particular angle was 15 over 17. And we're actually going to have a look at the tangent ratio in a minute. But all, obviously this angle won't change, it's just the ratios of the sines will change. Okay, uh, uh, But for that particular angle, okay, because it's coming from a, a series of similar triangles, we know that that, a, that angle itself okay, creates um, different ratios for, for different side combinations. And um, so we're going to actually now... Okay, now let's uh, apply the tan ratio. Okay, now the tan ratio, uh, T, would be the opposite on the adjacent. So you know, tan of the angle theta is in fact now 15 over 8. And this is actually equal to 1.875. So you can see here for the tan ratio we can actually get a, a number bigger than 1 but for the sine and the cosine we can't because we're always putting it over the hypotenuse which is a bigger side. So tangent, the tan of a particular angle can in fact uh, be much bigger than 1. Okay, The other ones are trapped between uh, minus 1 and 1. But the idea is that uh, now to get the theta again, what I do is I go theta, I'll apply the inverse function to tan, which is inverse tan, and I just, uh, I can just do this, uh, I'll just go 15 divided by 8, this is how I do it on the calculator, and the rest of it will be the same. Okay, um, you can try that yourself, but the angle obviously is still 61 degrees 56 minutes to the nearest minute. Okay. We're now going to uh, apply this to some problems, uh, just to have a quick look at uh, a couple of problems where we're only given a couple of the actual sides. Okay, uh, here we have a very similar looking triangle. Uh, so we're now going to put, uh, let's instead of theta, let's actually put uh, another Greek letter, alpha. Okay, and suppose we had this was say 32.3 and, and this was say uh, over here, 17.2. Okay. Well, what we'd do is we'd say, okay, what sides do we have? Well, uh, you can see here we've got the opposite and the hypotenuse, if you like. Some people just put like, O and H next to them. And uh, I would put a S in my uh, triangle to remind me I'm going to use sine. So we're going to go, okay, well, the sine of the angle, which in this case is alpha, is equal to the opposite, which is the 17.2 over the 32.3. Okay. So, how are we going to get the alpha from the sine function? 
Well, we have to uh, apply its inverse function. So we have to say that alpha, the angle alpha, is equal to uh, sine to the minus 1. Now I'll just write 17.2 divided by 32.3. And we do this on the calculator. Okay. That would be, uh, let's uh, see, 32.175. So it'll be about 32.175 dot dot dot. Okay, that's a decimal angle. That's alpha, so it's an angle. Now, if I press uh, the DMS button, you might remember I actually used to call this uh, sometimes as a DMS, okay, or the OG button. Uh, some people actually, uh, the, actually know these buttons. They will actually convert your decimal angle into... Uh, degrees minutes seconds answer and if we have a quick look I think it's 32 degrees uh, 10 minutes and then I think it's 30.18 seconds okay so you can see we'd round that up to the nearest minute it would be to the nearest minute it would be say uh, 32 degrees now 30 a bit more than 30 seconds brings up the next minute so this is actually uh, to the nearest minute That's all for the time now. Time being, we'll thank you for watching, and we'll do some more later. Thank you. Bye.